Hi, I'm Debbie Williams. I'm an NLP trainer and hypnotherapist. And today I'm going to talk about how you can stop blushing. Now, I can't get you to stop blushing completely because some of us are natural blushers. I am. But what I can do is change the reaction so that when you do blush, you don't feel bad about it. Because what happens is many times in childhood we're pointed out, oh look, they've gone red. As children do, they look for the differences. Oh, you've got freckles, oh, you've got glasses, oh, you're fat, oh, you're thin, anything like that. And all of a sudden we realise that all eyes are on us and we feel very, very uncomfortable. And we forget about this until maybe we, we get a job and our boss comes near us and asks us something and all of a sudden we go red. And we feel very, very uncomfortable because we've opened up the same pattern as we had in childhood and it feels very, very uncomfortable. And then we start predicting, oh, I hope when my boss doesn't speak to me again that I go red. And we see a movie of ourselves going red and then when the situation happens that our boss comes, we do go red and we feel all those uncomfortable feelings all over again. Now, with NLP, we can interrupt that pattern and take away the emotional intensity. It's a bit difficult to describe everything that I can do here in just these few short minutes. And I have got a um, hypnosis product called Stop Blushing. It's a full sort of hour long program with lots and lots of techniques that will really chip away. But one of the things that you can do is stop planning to go red in the first place. So. If you think, oh, I've got that meeting I've got to go to, or oh, I hope I don't go red, then what I suggest that you do is to wipe that out completely and replace it with a, a mini movie in mind of you walking out of the meeting with a smile on your face that says, that went absolutely fine. And that will start to help. Um, with blushing, it is quite a complex issue to sort out. And there are many, many more techniques that you can use to take down the emotional intensity and retrain yourself to think as somebody who, if they do blush, it doesn't bother them. I quite often give the example of the comedian um, Peter Kay, who, whilst he isn't a blusher, he certainly sweats a lot on stage, but he doesn't make it a problem. So he's wiping his forehead with a big towel and he's just carrying on because his goal is to entertain the audience. So for him, it isn't a problem and it doesn't stop him doing what he wants to do, which is to make people laugh. Now, I hope this has been of help. And if you are interested in finding out more, please click the link below and read a little bit more about the product that I've got that comes with a 60 day money back guarantee that can help you to retrain your thinking, to think more confidently about situations and to diminish the negative feelings that are attached with blushing.